When the town of the Grindavik in the 10th and 11th of the November 2023 was hit by earthquakes, we had gasping cracks opening in the town. If there was magma present there, that magma would, would have erupted. We know that the magma was not erupted there. Sea and seawater has entered those cracks and extending the sinkholes based on that. We haven't even seen tides in those sinkholes. That means they're connected directly to the sea. It was not like what we saw in the Hagerfell and the little intrusion of it with the fissure to the north of the Grindavik. This is the moment that the MBL uh, Iceland cameras, live camera, and the coastal guard of Iceland showed the eruption a few minutes after that. And this is the moment that uh, magma erupted from this point entering the town. The composition of this mag lava is very similar, exactly identical to the one that we have in the uh, Hagerfall. So it's nothing to do with the town of the Grindavik. Risk assessment is now... Uh, assessing the uh, chances of eruption for the Grindavik is lowered. Although we have the chance of eruption within that area to the north, and I think it will be to the north of the Hagerfell, between Hagerfell and Sundunka, we had eruption in those two cases when the land rise reached that threshold. We will have another one just in a few weeks' time. To the north of it, where I mark here with the red arrows to the left side, you can see that. And this is the next position for the eruption. Grindavik is not going to have an eruption, as I'm saying. As a geologist, I can say that. Non-geologists probably just uh, say that Reykjavik is another Grindavik or something like that. Uh, they're, they're just picking up the, what the others have said and misunderstanding and just pushing me forward.